U.S. military says another round of airstrikes have delivered a blow to ISIS targets in Iraq. The Islamic extremist group is taking credit for the beheading of American journalist James Foley. Polo Sandoval has the latest now from Washington. The Pentagon announced the latest round of airstrikes hit several ISIS targets near Mosul Dam. The region in northern Iraq has been the focus of U.S. Central Command forces since airstrikes started August 8th. While Kurdish forces regain control of the dam, there's concern members of Islamic extremist group ISIS will target the facility and damage it. Both the U.S. defense and state departments continue working to support Iraqi security forces. We are very focused on going after ISIL uh, strategically when it impacts the goals the president laid out in Iraq. We are engaged very heavily right now uh, in fighting them and in helping to build capability of the Iraqis to do yep. that. Fueling international outrage, the beheading of American James Foley at the hands of ISIS. Global Post, the news agency the freelance journalist worked for, says Foley's captors demanded a $132 million ransom. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder condemned the brutal killing. This Justice Department, this Department of Defense, um, this nation, uh, we have long memories and our reach is very wide. Uh, we will not forget what happened, and people will be held accountable one way or the other. U.S. officials are also confirming reports of a failed Foley rescue attempt in Syria earlier this summer, and extremist group ISIS threatened another hostage, U.S. journalist Stephen Sotloff, saying that his fate is dependent on what President Obama does next. In Washington, I'm Polo Sandoval.